Alright, so this time we have Delfinder versus Jewel. The biggest difference between these players is their skill level. Delfinder has uh, significantly more games than Jewel. Uh, you could say this is a veteran playing against a rookie. The following action cards and characters were banned. Uh, these action cards and these uh, characters were required for each player. Now, let's look at their decks. Uh, so, looking at Delfinder's deck, the strategy seems to be very obvious. It's it's the most stall deck that a stall deck can be. Just uh, basically entire utility is just uh, designed for stalling. Uh, looking at Jules' deck, the strategy is also quite obvious. It's uh, simply to maximize damage as much as possible. We will see which player will prevail, so let's get right into the game. Let's see who will come out on top. What's interesting is that Delphine brought two arcanes in this game. We'll see if that serves him well. Guardians of. You know, Guardians of could be quite useful to remove Dia summon and Barbara summon. Alright, this, this is not a bad start. This is not a bad start for both players, actually. Just setting everything up. Makes sense. I think Jewel is gonna do the same exact thing. I'll keep an eye on you. Setting Ooh. Double attack with Lisa maybe? Or setting up Lisa. I think catalyst on Lisa. Into the Yes. Let's go. You've been a naughty boy. That is gonna be a lot of damage. But we'll see if the stall counters it or not. Timaeus? Ooh, these are some great cards. Two Timaeus as well. That's a very strong setup. With Donia's art into the Timaeus. With Kujirai. General's Agent Helm might be useful, I mean Tenacity would probably be, be more useful, but he does have the second Timaeus, if he wants to try for that. Look alive. I guess he does not. Yep. Gonna take the... Uh... Makes sense, makes sense. Now, Barbara should not burst. Whatever happens, it would be very, very bad if Barbara bursts. Okay. Let's dance. Okay, this is a perfect setup for Guardians of. Un unfortunately, not enough dice, but perhaps next round. Which, okay. Assume Jewel could have maybe played Zudong, but yeah, Switch is better because you avoid the reaction. And Delfinder is just setting up Diona. I mean, a fully set up Diona with talent is a powerful card of her own. But Lisa could potentially counter that. Two Hash Brows. Delfinder's having some really good luck this game. Hmm. This is not ideal, but I think Guardian's Oath is gonna be a necessary play here. Uh oh, forgot about the Fortress of Merapi! Uh oh! Setting up Lisa, okay, that is also another good play. Sacrifice in the Guardian Zone. Hmm. I think playing it would have been a better call just to remove the summons. 
or at the very least keeping it. Doesn't wanna end on two dice. Ooh, come on. Actually, that's really useful. Mm, got a lucky Sonyata there. Didn't have to end on two dice. I mean, the Electra application is gonna cleanse. It's gonna get cleansed now due to Barbara Summer. Veteran's Visage. He does have the passing of judgment, so next turn. Ooh, next turn everything is gonna activate. Yep, play Visage on Dia. Uh, he's setting up to stall too much. Jewel is just not doing enough damage. Oh, it's, it's looking a bit more grim by the minute, but. You do have Lisa's, Lisa's conductor that might come in handy. Another Guardians, Veterans, sorry, Veterans Visage. For another dice. We switch. Delphine is gonna set up Barbara now and potentially burst, which is gonna be real annoying. Mm. Switching to Lisa is the only move here, I think. Maybe jump to Donkey first, then switch to Lisa. But Delphine could heal with Barbara now, which is, uh, which is bad. Maybe Kazuka as well. I don't think that would accomplish much. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I don't know if Kazuka's roll is the idea move, ideal move here, because it's gonna leave Lisa on low health. Stall. Okay. I mean, at this point, you have to do the Castle Hospital. In normal attack, okay. That's, that might be a better call to make, actually. Right, well, Paimon expired. They both have 10 dice. I mean, preventing Barbara's burst would be the best move, but I don't know if that's possible. Granted, Delphine does not have an energy. But he does go first, so it doesn't really matter. Delphine is just gonna switch off Barbara and just not burst this turn. Save it for next round. Next turn. Another catalyst! One with me! Oh. What's the move here? Yeah, exactly, he's just not gonna burst. He's gonna first uh, let Diona take uh, Lisa's attack. Apply. Okay. <laughs> yeah, now they'll find her's gonna heal with Barbara. Which is gonna basically undo Jules' efforts entirely. All right, let's head off. Now switching to Kazuha is interesting because his Midar Ranzan isn't gonna activate. There we go, that's the heal with Barbara. 
and they'll find her is basically at full health again. They'll find us just getting rid of some cars. So far, I think Delfinder has used each Barbara's elemental skill very effectively to clear his applications. Don't think a single one backfired on him. Wow, that's that's a lot of stall power. I I really doubt Jewel has what it takes to beat that. Forgot about the Mortar Fortress of Meripede. <laughs> Fallen leaves adorn my night. Yeah, I think they'll find her will be here just based off sheer amount of shields and heals he has. I think stalling is gonna be the effective solution here. Buckle up! Wow. Running low on cards now. Oh, this is talent. Will that prove to be useful? I kind of doubt it. Okay, even more stalling. Still hasn't used a single one. Single arcane. That's so many shields. I, I really doubt Jewel can cut through them all. I think it might be too late for that. Unfortunately, it's bye bye Kazuha and bye bye his general's ancient helm. Diona's so talent as the last card. Regrets. And that's gonna generate even more shields. Silly, I don't think that will help you. You know, if Jewel would have done more elemental reactions with thousand floating dreams. Ugh. Forgot about Fortress of Meropid again. Or maybe no. No, that's actually that was actually play. Use the arcane and then to use the lotus. I don't think it would matter much at this point. You could have played Rana there as well, but you know, I don't think it. I don't think it will matter much. Oh, okay. I guess we really wanted to win this round. Nope. Unfortunate. But it is best 
two out of three. All right, time for round two. All right, a much better start for uh, Jewel this time. A worse start for Delfinder. He doesn't get any dice reduction for his cards. He might get bricked on artifacts. Let's see how well they play this time. Fast switch and Lotus. And no Fortress of Merope this, this time. The go to move here will be not to attack. Alright, well, Delfinder is using all of his equipment very, very, uh, very efficiently. Zero dice first. And he is cleansing his uh, pyro applications again. Now, if this continues. this continues, a jewel won't be able to do elemental reactions again, which will not be ideal. You've been a naughty boy. But I guess she doesn't care. It's an interesting play to switch to Barbara. Ta -da! Here. And an even more interesting play to switch to Klee. Now, Jill does have a fast switch, so she could fast, fast switch at any time. Alright, switching off Barber now. Some very interesting gameplay here. Barbara is gonna cleanse herself, but Jewel does have a fast switch, so she could apply uh, do please burst and then fast switch to Lisa. Finish off Barbara. I think that will be the play. We'll see if that ends up working out. Jewel is one dice short, unfortunately, from uh, fast switching to Lisa, but it might not matter. Delfinder does not have any energy, so he has to switch off Barbara. And Jewel will be able to inflict even more damage. Now, Delfinder does have a lot of dice. An attack would have resulted in, uh, in him being able to heal the Barbara. That's not what happened. We can help. This is a very intense gameplay. These opponents see f further into the future than I do. Guardians of 
Again. Might come in handy. As long as Barbara doesn't heal, uh, Jewel has a chance. But that's easier said than done. Uh, there it is, we have the Guardians of. Well, now Barbara can heal herself, which, which I'm pretty sure will mean the end, but I don't think they'll find us going that route. No, he's not. He's gonna heal up with Dione instead. Alright, let's head off. Interesting play. Oh, no, he is gonna heal with Barbara. Never mind. I think once again Jewel might be in in trouble. Even though Delfinder has a lot more utility set up, uh, even though Jewel has conductive on at four stacks on every character. Uh, they'll find it just has more utility set up. The wind by Lisa, unfortunately she's out of help so all those conductive stacks they won't be useful and I think it's another GG for Jewel I did not to attack. They'll find it could have easily attacked there, but chose not to. <laughs> I think it's a showing of mercy, perhaps. Well, at this point, I don't think it matters much. Spark things up a little. Mm, Delfinder has too much utility. I don't think you could cut through all of those shields. Thank you for pulling me! Going out is tiring. Sounds good to me. No, I think it's just delay tactics at this point. Like, it's basically GG. There's nothing you can really do at this point. Let the show begin. <laughs> this is the 
Yes, well, this is essentially game over now. One attack, we'll finish it off. I mean, Jewel has a Lotus, but like, that's not gonna do anything. Last, one last ditch, Sonyata. Finish up with Barbara. <laughs> uh, just a concede. <laughs> a Barbara normal attack for the bit. <laughs> Not even the win. Okay, using the summon to win. Okay, never mind. <laughs> 10 HP. Full health versus zero health. <laughs> uh, but at all. But at all.